Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here and I thought I'd do a quick face of the day because I really like the way that my makeup turned out and I used a few things that I've never used before and a lot of things that were featured in my last face of the day. I actually meant to make, him a, make a tutorial on this look but as I was doing it I kind of forgot. So yeah, but basically I use the same process that you've seen in every other video. Nothing special or different. Same process and technique just different products that's how I roll so yeah I'm right in front of the window again but I'm on my knees instead of sitting in a chair which is why I'm leaning closer so of course I cleansed and moisturized my face I used castor oil and I also used my clean and clear dual action moisturizer today because I am experiencing breakouts because I think my skin does not like this makeup forever duo matte powder because the day after I wore it as a powder only foundation is the day that I started to break out and this is still a remnant. Most of the other ones have kind of gone away but this one is still lingering right in the middle of my forehead. But whatevs. So then I primed with this Black Radiance True Complexion Shine Control Primer. Then I went in with the Black Radiance Color Perfect Oil Free Liquid Makeup in Cashmere. That's my color. I then set the center of my face using this Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder in 218 because it is a little on the lighter side. And y'all know that um, I work outside in the sun with marching band, so I've gotten a lot darker. My face is so much lighter than my body and my hands. It's crazy. Then I went and contoured with this Black Radiance Pressed Powder in Rich Mahogany. My favorite contour powder. I feel like it's just perfect, perfect, perfect for my skin. And I was about to say that's it for the skin, but no, my blush. My eyes and blush all came from this BH Cosmetics Dark Rose Palette. And I wore this color... I have on this color right here is my blush and I like it because it has um like gold in it as well so it, it's a highlight and blush like all in one which I love and then for the eyes I used this color on my lid this color in the crease a little bit of this in the crease and on the lower lash line and for my inner corner I used this color right here and that's how I got this eye look, which I'm loving, because y'all know I love my neutral eyes and bold lips. Moving on to lipstick. The lipstick I'm wearing is from Milani, and it is one of their new matte lipsticks, and this is Matte Confident, number 67, Matte Confident, which is one of my favorite reds. It's kind of like a neutral red. It's not too warm or too cool. And the formula is really nice and moisturizing. It's not drying even though it is matte, but I put some chapstick on underneath. Wearing my black is beautiful earrings. I think I wear these almost like every Friday. I just put these earrings on. But yeah, that completes this face of the day. I'm off to a meeting now, and then tonight we have a football game, so I'll be with my marching band. Go Cougars! Yeah! So of course I'll take this lipstick off because it's a little much for marching band. I don't need to be, you know, yeah, we don't need lipstick for marching band. At least not red lipstick. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. I gotta go. Bye, YouTube!